Hello, welcome back to Bandung Sushi Lab Noding. In this episode, I'm going to do a li- something simple just to explore um, this add-on. Um, it's called the Unified Model of Organic Growth or UMOG. So I think this add-on is still a uh, work in progress. Probably like three alpha. It's not even alpha. It's, it, I don't know when it's going to be better, but I kind of want to give it a try anyway. Um, so once you install the add-on um, from GitHub, you should be able to see it in the user preference. So mesh umog, and this uh, this add-on actually works with uh, within a Node environment. Um, so I think I'm just gonna jump into this add-on. <clears throat> I think the add-on is actually works on this idea that. Um, in Blender, if you have like a, you start with a plane, for example, and the plane only have like four vertices, a single uh, polygon face. But if you go to jump into the sculpt mode um, in Blender, and with sculpt mode, if you turn on the dynamic topology, um, you will see that um, Blender cleverly kind of like subdivide and kind of adding details as you keep going with a with the sculpting. So I think that's the the idea of uh, the UMOG add-on. So that way, if you go look at the wireframe, um, if you imagine you, you can design like a like a procedural way to do the sculpting instead of um, you know like instead of manually doing it and keep adding um, details, pushing and pulling the vertices. If you can kind of simulate this. Uh, this thing like a sculpting using procedural way then probably you get like something like a umog um i think that's how i think um, the add-on actually works so i'll i'm gonna delete this i'm gonna start with another plane i'll divide it into two and this should be like a image texture I'm gonna create a new image texture, just a 512 by 512, and I'm gonna do a quick paint. Um, yeah, I think just black and white, and kind of draw like a spiral thing. So now, um, let's have a look at this add-on. So, click into this guy, create create new node three, and there's only a bunch of uh, nodes at the moment but the one that I think already working is the texture and and the displace node um, with the texture by default it's uh, you need to have a texture first so I'll, I'll create a, a texture real quick a new texture um, it's gonna be um, image and I'm gonna be using the, the spiral so now we can use it here. I'm gonna save this. This is UMOG um, test. And if I just plug this into this guy, then assign it to the plane. So the plane itself at the moment is just like a, a single polygon face. With subdivide on, I think it's gonna do subdivision on the fly. And the next thing, the next operations, I think is this this guy right here, bake mesh. By default, it's giving like a start frame of one, end frame of two. I think that means like two times operations. Let's try um, just a single. Oh, I cannot give a single. Okay, uh, just gonna bake bake the mesh. Um, so that's what we get by default. It's very uninteresting. Gonna create another plane. Apparently, we need to do some kind of subdivision beforehand. Um, well, I'll I'll just do that. So I'll this time I'll make a a bit of subdivision and apply it. Second plane. Bake mesh. And we get something that looks like uh, something that displacement 
displacement modifier able to do. So that's uh, starting to look a little bit more interesting, but still pretty, still pretty boring. Um, so I'm gonna do another subdivision, something like that. Plane number two, texture, mid level strength. Okay, strength zero point one five. And let's try higher number. Maybe not too high. I, I think four frame might be a bit too much, but try it anyway. So this is a uh, four times, and we get this result. A little bit higher resolution. So that's a uh, that's what this actually does. Um, nothing much, nothing more. There's actually things like a texture alternator. This one. This one, I'm not sure what it is yet. I haven't tried, but maybe I should try it now. Um, maybe I'll try create another image. New image, untitled 2. Okay. This one, I'll, I'm just going to draw like a, like a plus sign. And create another texture new this is untitled 2 maybe I should save it okay this guy should update so that's alternating texture texture 1 let me just this one doesn't update Oh well, let's try this anyway. Plane and subdivide it. Apply <clears throat> and let's try this. Bake mesh. Maybe we're not gonna get anything interesting. There's an error. Stress back. Okay, let's try again. It's plane number three. Bake mesh. Oh well, it's giving an error. Hmm. Anyways, it's still in alpha. Um, I'm gonna do something different. I will turn on spare chop add-on. And I will do like a. I'll create a plane. Um, I'll make it size five twelve by five twelve points, and I'm gonna use um, turbulence vector turbulence, and I'm gonna use texture texture viewer. There's a texture viewer light, but we want to use texture viewer in this case, and we're gonna tell these nodes we got, we're gonna create five twelve by five twelve pixel of uh, texture. And we can work in black and white or RGB. I'll show you. So if we use a scalar, we can plug this guy in into that guy. And we can pass it into, if we turn on pass, it's going to create a texture based on this. Um, So let's try normalizing it. So now we can have a texture. So now this texture is being um, generated on the fly from SpareChop. And this is actually something you can use with uh, this OMOG. So let's try this uh, real quick. Hopefully this works. Back to this guy. I'm gonna create a new texture. Um, new select the one from spare top and this doesn't seem to update 
so that's pretty bad. Let's try bake the mesh anyway. Okay, seems to be giving a result. So that's the result from this guy. Let me try baking it again a couple of times. So as you continue baking it, you'll see um, it's giving this result quite interesting, it's quite organic. Maybe you, you might think, okay, this is not much different from using uh, multiple displays modifier. Maybe that's correct, but I'm not sure. Um, this guy has a lot more nodes, and I'm not sure what each one of this actually does at the moment. Um, but so I'm kind of curious. Uh, maybe you are the developer and you know um, if you watch this video, please let me know uh, how to use this add-on because currently it doesn't have any documentation on how to use it. Um, yeah, other than that, it's just like currently it's more like a trial and error. But the nice thing, of course, if you go back to spread chalk, you know, you can use all kind of a pattern from spread chalk, for example, and then use it with a UMOG. So back to Umog. So this guy now have a different texture. Um, let's try bake this three times. This process can be pretty heavy, so be careful. Um, but I don't know that it's actually you can get a quite interesting result. Okay, Blender might actually crash. But uh, I, I can leave it processing. I will reopen another Blender program. Um, file open Umog. File save as number two. This time I'll have. S I think I have to choose one of these. Um, okay, let's try this. Bake mesh. Hopefully it doesn't crash this time. See, you get a new result. Uh, or oh, actually, instead of that's the old one. No, that's uh, that's actually the one we have. I'll save this, and let's try using plane number four and using a different uh, texture. Voro noise, Perlin, okay, maybe cell noise, cell noise, maybe, okay. Bake the mesh, and we get this result, not too interesting, I'll increase the number of frames. This might crash, okay, it doesn't crash, cool. But you can see, you get this uh, organic looking surface very, very quickly for no reason, um, not sure how, but anyhow, uh, let's try it on a, let's try on a toes, actually, I haven't tried on the 3D objects. I'm not sure if we, we need to use uh, some kind of UV, but anyway, let's give it a go. See, you get this result very, very quickly. It's um, you you probably can use a displace displacement modifier, but I don't know. This seems to be feels a little bit more streamlined. So this one actually crashes. Okay, go back to this one. Still processing. This might take a while, but anyhow, this is pretty much what I want to show you. Okay, it's done. Um, yes, yeah, a bit random, but that's the whole idea. Basically, you can use a spread chop to generate this texture procedurally, and then you pass it to Umog, and this Umog will generate a, hopefully something that looks uh, interesting, you know, like organic looking. This one, I think this they use this Umog thing. I'm not sure. Maybe this is something else, but they just put it 
here. Uh, uh, we will see in a, maybe in a few months time maybe this add-on will grow and once it is ready for testing we can go back we can come back to it and test it out but this is what we have at the moment it's kind of interesting um, if you want to try it it's all pretty much procedural so let me know what you think. Uh, thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.